the last uh, couple years that I was working at the refuge, uh, we experienced uh, the 2016 tax day flood. Couldn't uh, a flooding that uh, on the magnitude that pretty much I think about a third of the refuge was totally underwater. Uh, I mean, and I'm talking about within a foot, a foot or more of, of water was covering the whole entire refuge. Uh, and it happened right at nesting time, uh, April of, of 2016. Couldn't have happened at a worse time. We had, I believe, a record number of hens that were on the ground. Of course, all those nests were, were wiped out. We essentially had no reproduction on the refuge that year and uh, thought, okay, another bad year. Well, 2017, we had Hurricane Harvey uh, hit. If you remember that, that's uh, probably one of the worst hurricanes that, that hit the, the Texas coast. Well, that hit, I believe it was in August of 2017, right at a time when we were releasing prairie chickens from the captive flock. And uh, again, all of our efforts for that summer pretty much went down the drain with many mortalities of prairie chickens and all. And, you know, after those two years, we're sitting here going, you know, what's it going to take to, to, to see some, some real um, positive stuff occur with the species? And it, 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 to me, it was pretty apocalyptic at that time. It was like, okay, you know, what, what do we do? Well, obviously, the, the following year, I believe in 2019, prairie chicken numbers in the spring dropped to an all-time low. I think, uh, don't quote me exactly, but I think it was something like 26 birds estimated in the wild. That's about as low as you can get without pretty much going extinct. And we, we knew that was going to happen because of the past two events at, at a really bad time. And uh, you know what? This past spring in 2020, we had our spring count, we had the highest number of prairie chickens just, what, two years later uh, or so? Um, at, at uh, you know, the highest number of prairie chickens we've had ever in the spring since the mid 1990s. So these birds can really rebound quite rapidly, even after being down in the dump. Within, within a couple of years, a couple of good years of, of weather, uh, really sticking to the to being able to to bring you know work on our, our captive breeding. We had some a record number of releases in, the, in those couple of years. I mean, things can go the other way, just can go in a positive way just as fast as they can go in the negative direction. And so I think we're, we're just not quite, me personally, I don't think we're quite ready to just totally pull the plug on this species. I think there's still hope and I think there's still, there's still an ability to bring these guys up out and over that hump to get them going in the right direction and start really seeing some positive stuff.